This is Twit. Gitcoin is incentivization mechanics for open source software. And what that means is that uh, you can attach a bounty, an Ethereum based bounty for any GitHub issue or GitHub pull request. And that'll get paid out when the pull request is merged and the project uh, the project has been completed. So we do some of the plumbing and mechanics around around payouts. But uh, by and large, the the project is a community and it's a way for people who are interested in blockchain to get introduced to some of the best projects in the Ethereum blockchain space. And how did you get the idea to start this? Uh, you know, uh, I think that um, you know, I've been a software engineer for for ten or fifteen years, and uh, I I believe that open source software has powered my career and uh, the careers of almost everyone in my generation of programmers. I've been building things with Python and Postgres and Apache, and most recently Nginx uh, in my career as a web developer for uh, as long as I can remember. I've, uh, uh, for the last ten years, I've been sort of a startup engineering leader in the in the Boulder. Boulder startup space, and uh, and I think that there's this curious dynamic with open source software where it creates tens of billions of dollars a, a year in economic value and in multi billion dollar companies. But the uh, so there's the, there's this huge economic output that comes from open source software, but the expected value of open source software is is free. In uh, in the consumer's eyes, because you can just clone any repo, and you can um, so so, and, and then there's this in between data point where software engineers can make between thirty dollars an hour and one hundred and fifty dollars an hour, depending on their experience level and their location and the niche that they're in, and uh, and, and and so you see. You see that the, the economic price points for for software are just kind of all over the map, and uh, and 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 so the the idea of Gitcoin came to me uh, because I would really love to see a future in which open source software can be maintained without corporate sponsorship and without the overhead of. The Red Hat Foundation or or the Linux Foundation, the administrative heft of those companies, uh, I think works works because of the scale. And I would love to use blockchain, uh, which we can get into that whole rabbit hole, hopefully in a few minutes here, mm -hmm. in order to unbundle the business models of corporate sponsorship of open source software. And uh, why Ethereum and not Bitcoin? Oh man. Uh, this is where I might start some some tribal wars among your audience because I think that uh, you know cryptocurrency is is there's a lot of tribalism out there with respect to the different cryptocurrencies and I uh, I run the Boulder Blockchain Meetup here uh, in in Colorado and uh, we get everyone from Wall Street types to Burning Man types and everywhere in between we get Bitcoin maximalists we get Ethereum maximalists and. Uh, even even some people who are into Litecoin, uh, I, I think that uh, I like to spend a lot less time on Twitter arguing about which cryptocurrency is is the best, uh, and I like to just focus on on, on building. And uh, Ethereum has 30x the developers that uh, at the next largest cryptocurrency smart contract platform has, and I think with that kind of scale and that kind of maturity in Ethereum, it was just a no-brainer to to build the network on Ethereum. And it also makes sense, I guess, to not use Bitcoin because now the with the per transaction cost is up to like fifteen dollars or something now, and that probably wouldn't let people have small payouts for things, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it ebbs and flows, and I think Bitcoin Cash is doing some some work on this to be the Bitcoin uh, currency, whereas uh, Bitcoin Bitcoin is apparently moving into this niche where it's a store of value. It's kind of like digital gold, uh, where you can invest in it, and you can be sure that there's only going to be a limited supply because of the cryptographic proofs and the way the system is designed, and so it sort of occupies that niche. But but more recently, I've actually seen that the Bitcoin transaction fees uh, have gone down to only a couple cents, and I'm I'm not sure it completely uh, fits into the narrative of of what I just said. Uh, these things are alpha software, so so they're ebbing and ebbing and flowing. Um, mm -hmm. What I will say is that uh, 
Bitcoin was a trailblazer in in blockchain. It was the first one, and uh, but I find myself increasingly enamored with Vitalik Buterin, the founder of Ethereum's vision, and with the amount of pragmatic developer uh, attention and enthusiasm there is in the uh, Ethereum space.